Hello everyone, let me walk you through the demo of Advanced Payment in Odoo by Browseinfo. This application simplifies the management of advanced payment by allowing businesses to track and record payment received from customer and payments made to suppliers. It ensures accurate financial reporting, improve cash flow management and provide detailed reports for better transaction tracking. This module is ideal for businesses that handle frequent advanced payments ensuring transparency and efficiency in financial operations. So, first of all, we will go into the settings under user and companies. We will go into the user and we will go into the Michelle admin. Here, under others, you will find a checkbox for access reset payment. Enable that checkbox and save it. After this, we will hop on to the sales module and we will create a new quotation. Click on new and add your customer. Here I am adding Azure Interior as my customer. In order line, add products. I am selecting Acoustic Block as my product. Here you can see the unit price is 295. Here you will find a tab for advanced payment. You can see there is nothing yet. Here you can see the button for advanced payment. Click on that and enter details. Select date. I am selecting the present date. Enter amount you want to pay right now. I am entering 100. Select your journal. I am selecting bank. Now click on create advanced payment. You can see as soon as we click create advanced payment, advanced payment is updated in here. You can see all the information in here. Now, if you click on reset button, you can see you will be able to edit the amount. Now, I am adding 150 as my amount. Click on update and you can see your amount is 150. We will go into the invoicing. Under customer, we will go into the payments. Here you can see a payment is created. Open that and you can see a payment is created for customer Azure Interior for amount 150 on date this you can see the journal is bank and the payment method is manual payment you can see the state is in progress for this payment now again we will go into the sale order and we will open that sale order now click on confirm and create a delivery here you can see a delivery is created now enter the quantity and validate your delivery. Here you can see your delivery is validated. Now again get, go to the sale order and create invoice. Select regular invoice and here you can see a draft invoice is created. Click on confirm and you can see our invoice number is generated. You can see it is in partial state. And in here you can see that 150 rupees is paid on this date and the amount due is 145. Now here you will find a button for pay. Click on that and you can see the amount remaining is 145 is coming. Select your journal. You can select bank or cash. I am selecting bank and click on create payment. After you create your payment, you can see the banner is changed to paid. Now, again, we will go into the invoicing. Under customers, we will go into the payment. And we can see a payment is created for customer Azure amount 145 on this date of this memo and all the journal and payment method with paid state. Now we will hop on to the purchase module and we will create a new RFQ. Now we will add a vendor. I will be selecting Deco Edit. Select a product. Again, I will be selecting Acoustic Block. Here you can add your unit price. I will be adding 300 as my unit price. Now save this. Here you can find the advanced payment button click on that and enter your details add the present date add the amount you want to pay i am adding 120 
and select your journal i will be selecting bank now click on create advance payment and now in advance payment you can see a payment is generated you can see the payment number date amount and journal now again we will click on reset button and you here also you can update your amount i will be adding 150 as my amount now if you want to check you can go into the invoicing under vendor we will go into the payments and you can see a payment is created for 150 rupees by vendor deco edit here you can see the date journal and payment method you can also see it is an in progress state now again we will go back to the purchase module we will open the purchase we just created now you can confirm the order here you can see a receipt is created and you can see the demand and quantity and validate the receipt now again we will go back to the purchase order and we will create a bill here you can see a bill is created now try to confirm this bill but you will get a validation to add the bill date add your bill date and now confirm it here you can see a vendor bill is created with this number and you can see that it, the banner is says it is in partial state here you can see the total amount is 150 paid uh, the total amount is 300 the paid amount is 150 and the amount due is also 150 now click on pay select your journal i'm selecting bank you can see the amount is 150 as 150 rupees is due now click on create payment here you can see that the banner says this bill is paid to check that we will go into our invoicing under vendors we will go into the payments and we can see that the remaining 150 rupees payment is done by vendor deco edit on this date with this memo and with this general and payment method you can also see that it is in paid state if you have any queries about this video you can ask them in the comment box and we will solve your queries if you feel this video is useful to you, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Odoo related videos. Thanks for watching.